Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen, and all in between, and welcome back to part 9 of Fable 3. We continue on the main quest and seek allies in the sewers of Barrowstone. We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets really ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. Wow, looks like a whole city under here. Not under, actually, I guess, out in the open. There's nothing there. Oh, there's a chest over there, though. Can we climb these? No. Nope. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. No harm doing a bit of exploring. No, Sir Walter, sorry, what were you saying? Think of it as an investment in My wife threw me out and I've got the go. I'm trying to get You can see for yourself what life outside the castle is like. Poverty, hunger, disease. Wouldn't you want to rebel against it all? I believe we're going to meet Paige. You won't see too many kids running around here. Most of them have no choice but to work. It's either that or begging. Are all dungeons dark and dank, or are there any light and airy ones? Give him a little bit of money whenever we've got to spare. you want then that's lovely thanks thanks for the cash you buy that let's buy that shop here you can't go wrong no harm while we're here doing that Sounds like some sort of conundrum going on over there. The first digging, as always. <coughs> Sounds like a protest. Oh well, thank you. I try to be. Reaver is exploiting us. We deserve fair pay. We demand better working conditions. We're workers. We're not slaves. Reaver treats us like animals. We're not going to take it anymore. There's only one thing for it. We have to stand up to Reaver. But lying down is so much easier than standing. My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. The rules that will govern what I like to call the Reaver Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be fired. 
Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three-second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. We return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on. Shoot. He's still alive. Chop, chop. That's pretty impressive. He maybe maybe he's a hero. That's why we're here. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Reaper. We should go on. It's time you met the Barrowstone Resistance. I just got here myself. Ah, an outsider. Where are you from then? Pretty shocking. I spend lots of gold. I can use it to buy more supplies. So How Albion has fallen. Spend. By these places as I pass them, might as well. It's pretty shocking how things have fallen from Fable 2. I don't want to move in. Riveters rest. What have we got? Oh, it's all going to buggery. Hmm. Hi. Right, this should be the place. Somewhere beyond this door is the base of the Bowerstone Resistance. Ready when you are. I'm ready when our dog is ready. <laughs> well, where's the build spot? There we go. I knew it was somewhere in the corner. But we can't dig till he starts. Not bad, not bad. I'm pretty sure Paige is the last of the support we need to launch the rebellion. Let's go in. I really love how much time we're spending in caves and sewers these days. No, really. That was a key on your side. I don't know what kind of reception we'll get. I know their leader well enough, but it was never safe for me to come down and meet the rest of them, and they're not exactly the most trusting of people. Hello! Hello! Maybe we've got the wrong place. Let's uh, go. Get out. We won't move if you won't shoot. Neil, you better tell your friend that. It's all right. Just do as he says. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Walter, and this is... Well, that really doesn't matter right now. We're here to speak with Paige. I say we shoot. Listen, we're on your side. Just hear us out. We don't make deals with spies. Shoot! Wait! Put your weapons down. I thought I gave the orders round here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Gotta be carried away. Walter, 
Glad you're all right. And I'm glad you came in when you did. I wasn't exactly expecting you. Let's talk somewhere a bit more private. So are we talking? I or? had this whole plan, you see. But I... Well, we ended up leaving the castle earlier than I thought. I heard. Pity. Your messages were always useful. I can offer you something better. Wow. This is where the resistance is run. Reminds me of the railroad in uh, Fable 4 a little bit. Sorry, Fallout 4. Page. I'd like you to meet. I know who she is. I thought you'd know better than to bring the princess here. She's not just a princess. She's a hero. Great. Give her a medal. No, no. I mean she's a hero. Like her father. Really? It doesn't change anything. Your brother is the reason we live underground. He's the reason we fight. How do we know she's any better? Well, let her prove it. It's not just me she needs to convince. The people of this city need someone they can believe in. Prove to them that they should follow you, then we'll talk. For now, I have work to do. Looks like you have work to do, too. You have a whole city to inspire. Wow. Oh, hello, Teresa. I wish Teresa had a more interactive role with the main story. It's really cool getting to see her on the road to rule and get some tidbits from her, but I liked how more active she was in Fable 2. Today you have met the true voice of the people of this city. It is imperative that you win Paige and her resistance movement to your cause, and just as important that you prove to Bowerstone that you can be its rightful ruler. I love the fog disappearing and the castle coming into view. Right, what have we got? Oh, I don't have 60 for that, that's a shame. Uh, it's 60 for all of them, it seems. Let's just get all these. We've also unlocked the next gate as well. He's acting a few more side quests. More guild seals. We got enough for that one? No. Crap. Oh, that's cool. I like how we're changing as we go along. What have we got here? Good parenting pack. Hooligan expressions. Blacksmith loot and pie maker upgrade again. And a force push spell. One, two, Three. It's only three gates left until we take the castle. It would seem your heroism has to be put to the test once again, madam. May I suggest that you return to the sanctuary and inspect the map? There appear to be numerous opportunities available. As you say, Jasper. You're the man. What have we got? There's only one quest there. One quest in the market. Three quests in Warningwood. Two in Millfields. Silver Pines, none. Mercenary Camp, none. One in the... Two there. Five in Brightwall. Wow. Where were all these quests when I was doing my side quest video last time that didn't turn into a side quest video at all? Ah, good. They're all back again. That's odd that they weren't, they weren't available when I was um, going to Barrowstone uh, Industrial. But anyway, the main thing is there's loads to do now. So I don't even know where to start. Maybe we'll start in the Dweller Camp and work our way down, I think. I know we have to do it for Barrowstone, but I'm just going to do them all around. Um, And Millfields has unlocked, which is quite good. I want to actually go there and just check out how much the 
businesses are there because they're meant to be the great place to start getting proper money. Feed your brat a chocker rat. It's so tasty. It's probably what they're eating in the Barristone Industrial. Wow. So all these places are just suddenly unlocked now, uh, which is pretty cool. Don't look so pretty when I'm dug in there. Pretty intense for a second. Not too bad getting a ruby. Good boy. I'm not actually sure what to expect in Millfields. Nice, got a good bit of money coming in now, about 4,000 each uh, every five minutes. Ah, nice. Very pretty. No, not these guys anyway. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter if it's Barristone, it's, it's actually everybody. Fancy a delivery job? Not right now, I just want to investigate a little bit. Ordinary folk have arrived 200 and, and 15,000, wow. Doesn't say how much the rent will be on that, that's incredible. Um, well, we've got a lot of saving up to do if we want to get that. This is quite a nice place. bit stuck there. Hundred eighty-nine thousand. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we get there. Hmm, let's have a look. Let's go to the Dweller camp and do that quest, because there's only one, and then we'll finish up the video. The Albion girl always gets her way. Albion Ale, the beer for heroes. It's a looting job. Thank you for your custom. You're just a goody two-shoes, ain't ya? Yeah, I am. I'm proud to be. And you'll be glad I am when I'm queen. Ragdoll, nice. I'll admit it. I had a drink problem. I don't know where I can find drinks. I'll get a few of these caravans while we're here. 
for that. Oh, thanks. Ha! Brilliant! Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like those tattoos. They look cool. Not any bargains to be found here, but I'll keep looking. <laughs> what would you like today? Hi there. How can I help? Cheers. Come back anytime. Bye. See you again soon. No harm spending a bit of money for help the dwellers out. <laughs> well, hello, good looking. Trust me, I'm a great body artist. What have we got, boy? Where are they? Buy your wares here. A shop owned by one of Albion's most famous adventurers. I do like that outfit. It suits you well. I think I Thank you. Like That's good. Isn't it? So hairy. I love how these people are really poor, and yet I'm finding 300 quid in the ground. How you doing, princess? By this place as well. Can I be of service? Try you to catch look cool. Me. That's great. Thank you. Where else do you go? And uh, more treasure. Did I miss all these when I was walking around? I can't afford that. Here we go. Oh, there's something actually. Sabine's history of the Dweller tribe has dictated to Boulder, Secretary, Bodyguard, and Comrade. Very well. Boulder, I want you to write down everything I say. Now, these fellows at the Bright Wall Academy have asked for the full and proper history of our tribe to sit proudly on their learned shelves. This is important, you know. So, <clears throat> write down every word as true as it's spoken. <clears throat> Honored scholars and professors and such. I am Sabine, elder dweller of... Well, I'll start again, Boulder, hang on. <laughs> Honored scholars and professors and such. I am Sabine, elder of the dweller clan. I shall begin the tale of my people with... Um, a, wait, bo wait, Boulder, wait, wait, let me like my... Have you got everything so far, Boulder? Good. Now. Well, what I... Aye. The history of our tribe is the history of these mountains. For we were wanderers for many a year before we found a home. And we were not truly ourselves before the Valley of Mist Peak sang its welcome song. These ancient rocks, these noble trees, this honest soil, are as much a part of the dweller tribe as the children who play in the valley's snow, or the men and women who hunt in its forests. <coughs> got a, have you got enough ink in there, my lad? <laughs> have you got enough ink there, my lad? There must be facts. Sufficient to fill a book by now. I best hurry to the end. So, in conclusion, it's freezing, and it's tough, and it's beautiful. And what better way to describe the life of a dweller than that? These mountains are ours, and we'll fight with our lives to shelter them from whatever storms may come. But the most important thing about dwellers, you must know, the thing that defines our culture and our spirit more clearly than anything else is... Oh, bloody hell. My pipe's gone out. Oh, well, never mind. That's plenty for the academy to absorb and to study, I've no doubt. Let's have a drink to celebrate, shall we? Just make sure you've not missed a word, Boulder, and we can send it off in the morning. Well, we learned a lot about it. It's there. amazing what you can find when you're digging up your back garden, isn't it? Giant bones, portals to other dimensions, broken bottles. I'm sure my cousin Saul would know what it is. He works over at the Bright Wall Academy, you see. Very bright fellow. You wouldn't mind taking it to him, would you? 
I'd do it myself, but all that digging has done my back in. Sure thing. Moving on. Anything interesting going on in the world? If you're singing. Wonderful. How kind you are. Here it is. That should be a pretty easy quest. I think actually what was, I was in the middle of that quest and I didn't realise it. Um, I was in the middle of that main quest with Paige. I thought it ended once we, we went to the Barristone sewers, but obviously it didn't. That's why I couldn't get access to the, any of the side quests. But now we've got loads to do, so we'll finish this little delivery and then leave it there. And the next video I'll probably do a few side quests. And more property. I think the best thing might be to leave the game running in the background for a few hours and get the money built up so I can buy a place in, mill, in Millfields. This way to the Bright Wall Academy. A late night, last minute delivery. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending the odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time. Nice. You successfully delivered a potentially historical package to the Brightwall Academy. Perhaps you should check back later to see if it's worth the effort. Well, oh, that's not a bad thing. And actually, yeah, as we note that the guild seals are going down, so any quest outside of Bright of Barrowstone leads to helping with that quest. Great, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in part 10 as we continue on finishing off some side quests and helping the people of Albion. So take care and have a nice day.